anime or manga? Which is better? This is an age old discussion, but it's quarantine time and it's been on my mind. So stick with me. I think I got a pretty good answer. But for now, let's pour it up and run that intro. So anime versus manga. I mean, this is a pretty old debate. People have been arguing about this for as long as the genre has been around. And as I was working on the Berserk video that I got coming for you guys pretty soon, I found myself thinking of the same thing. Like, which is better or is one better at all? So came up with some points that I want to share with you guys, and I'd love to get you guys' opinion in the comments. So what are like some of the pros of manga? Well, I mean, obviously, right? If you're an anime fan, where did it come from? Manga is the source for the anime. Point blank, period. And as a result, with it being the source, it can give you more context. There can be little scenes, little things that you can pick up that are in the manga that may not make it to the anime adaptation. Anime adaptations can skip things, they can skip entire arcs. For example, if we look at Berserk 2016, from where the Golden Age arc trilogy leaves off to where we see Guts in the 2016 adaptation, they actually skipped an arc. They kind of drop you right into it. So if you watch an anime and go back and check out the manga, you can also often find a lot of unseen gems. It's like finding a lost ed uh, episode of an anime. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's also good to see the creator's original work as well. I mean, this is the original vision. This is how they first saw it before it was adapted. A lot of times little idiosyncrasies can be made, you know, little art differences you can see from a manga to an anime adaptation. Sometimes they're pretty faithful. Um, next thing about manga, as opposed to anime, is the fact that anime adaptations don't always adapt the entire anime. Perfect example of this is one of my favorites is Claymore. Now, if you ever watch the Claymore anime, animation-wise, it's amazing. The voice, the voice acting is great. I mean, it was done by Madhouse, and we all know how good they are. But the anime only adapted the first 11 volumes of the manga which was ridiculous so it's 26 episodes the first 24 episodes are faithful to the source material the last two have an anime only ending and this is speculated due to the performance of the manga of the anime they didn't really, really want to continue it so on and so forth but anybody who's read the claymore manga knows that the, all the juiciness all the best shit happens in the second half of the manga which they skipped if you've never read it, I really recommend that you do because Claymore is the inspiration for one of your favorite animes and all of its uh, twists, turns, and reveals. So check it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you do so, come back to the comments and let me know what you thought. Keep in mind as well, High School of the Dead, another one. You look at it, not everything made it to the anime. They didn't continue the series. Partly and a big part due in fact to, you know, Daisuk Sato dying, RIP to that man. But you're left wanting more so you can go back to the manga and really get more than what you got but at the same time they're going to be pros to the anime as well anime being animated could be a more exciting medium you know what i mean you can really see the pages of a manga brought to life with vibrant colors voice acting motion the whole nine so scenes that you saw in the pages a fight scene you know what I mean? An interaction between characters are now in motion. It kind of engages more of the senses. It makes it a little bit more real. Um, it can also be more accessible. I mean, let's be honest, like not all of us are readers. Not everybody likes to sit down and flip the pages of a book or flip through on a screen and read. Some people need to be a little bit more visually stimulated to keep their attention. And what's nice about anime is, like it was in my case, the anime can often lead you back to the manga. I mean, there's a lot of manga coming out all the time. It can be easier to catch an anime, really like it, and then be like, all right, cool, now I'm going to go back and dive into the source material. That's usually how I go about getting into my manga. Um, for example, Berserk, love the anime, jumped into the manga. Demon Slayer, love the anime, jumped into the manga. Claymore, like the anime, jumped into the manga, and on and on and on and on and on. So what is my answer to the question? what's better anime or manga 
my answer is I think they go best together. That's just being real with you. You know, not everything can be adapted. That's the biggest thing. A lot of times animes can be hampered by time constraints, budget constraints, etc. So not everything is always going to make it into the series, even the most faithful of adaptations. So a lot of times the manga will have a lot of unseen gems for you. A lot of little scenes, a lot of little context, a lot of little interactions that add a broader scope and understanding to what you saw in the anime. It just makes it that much better and adds a level of understanding. So for me, a lot of times it'll be even though you've seen the anime, you know, it's going to happen. It's like watching it all over again when you're reading the manga. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Which do you prefer, anime or manga? Or do you like them together as well? And give me some of your favorites. Uh, thanks for sticking with me for this one. Remember to like the video if you like the content. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell. I'm out, man.